G'day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday the 21st of October 2011. Come, let's pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We thank you for your Son, Jesus, and it's in his name we offer you these praises, prayers and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives, and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins, he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. O oh, gracious Father, we lift before you these people who are in need of a healing touch. Kathy, Chrissy, Denise, Hannah, Peter, Bruce, Joy, Susan, Ruth, and Doug. Give comfort to them, heal their sickness and give wisdom to the medical staff treating them. We also lift before you Lucy who is in need of employment and encouragement. May she receive employment advice which is wise and helpful so that she may feel encouraged in her job search. May she find the right job soon and we pray that you will help her in that search. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying.
Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O oh, Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church. May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O oh, Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.